everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about all things fragrance. Today's video is a tag video called Show Me Your Spritz. I was tagged by Clémence from Clémence CC Fragrance. I will link her channel down below. So thank you for tagging me. And essentially this tag is a list of really fun questions that relate around perfumes in my collection. All right, let's get right into it. So the first question is unicorns are real. The perfume you had to chase the longest to acquire. So I definitely have a fragrance in my collection that took me two and a half years to acquire. It is Santal Basmati by Affinescence. For those of you who have watched my videos for a while, I think you know how obsessed I am with this fragrance. It's unreal. It is a stunning sandalwood fragrance that has a cooked rice effect. And it's very unique, really elegant, and you just simply cannot find anything like this at all. Now, the reason why it took me two and a half years to buy is because of the price point. It is super expensive. It's 335 pounds, and I just couldn't bring myself to purchase this fragrance because of this price. But I was in Milan a couple of years ago for Exence, which is a fragrance event where there's a lot of niche brands that showcase their fragrances and new launches and things like that and at the end of the event some of the brands sell or give away their testers and that is what happened with uh, the Santal Basmati fragrance that I have is that the brand actually gave me a big discount because uh, they gave me the tester which is great and that is why I have it in my collection today otherwise I probably still would wait many more years to buy it. <laughs> Okay, so the second question is, House of the Rising Scent, a new perfume house you've discovered and are loving. Yes, so I've recently discovered a niche brand called Ormae, which is a stunning fragrance brand that does 100% natural fragrances. And they also have a very sustainable approach to perfumery. I believe they use recycled glass and wooden caps for their bottles, which I will insert images of because they are beautiful and really luxurious. And then in terms of the fragrances, there's two that stand out to me. The first one is Papier Carbone, which is a very unique smelling type of licorice fragrance that recreates more the scent of licorice roots or bark. So it's a bit woody, a bit dusty, and has a bit of like an anise type of feel, which is lovely. And the second one is Le Passant, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous lavender scent. It's a classic, similar to Pour un homme by Caron, but it's made really modern, and there's also some tonka beans, so it's a little bit sweet. It's just beautiful. And actually, I just ordered a discovery set from them, which I'm very excited to receive, so I can play around with the fragrances a little bit more. The third question or theme is Heart the Hype, perfume where you agree with the hyperbole. So I would say I agree with Creed Aventus. I understand the hype around it. I, for the longest time, didn't want to even go near Creed Aventus because everyone was talking about it. And I'm a bit of a snob that way when people talk too much about a fragrance. I just, I'm like, no, I don't want to test it. And I went into store, sprayed it on a blotter, put the blotter in my bag. And then when I reached out for something in my bag hours and hours later, or even days later, there was an amazing scent in my bag. And it was that blotter that was still smelling of Creed Aventus. So since then, I've tested it on my skin as well. And I just, love it. I find that the dry down is really beautiful, classy. It smells like luxury and is a great mass appealing scent that's super versatile as well. The fourth question is renounce the ounce perfume where you disagree with the hyperbole. I disagree 100% with the hype around your Sauvage. I cannot stand this perfume. I mean, I get that it's very mass appealing, but for me, it's just not unique enough. It's not the type of fragrance I'm particularly attracted to. I find the opening basically a bomb of Ambroxan. And if you have been watching my videos, you know how much I love Ambroxan. I'm obsessed with Molecule 2, but in Sauvage, it's very aggressive. It's almost acidic, almost like burns your nose when you smell it. So I have to disagree with that hype. Sorry for those of you who like Sauvage. Next up we have Love is Blind Buying. Best blind buy. Let me tell you, I never blind buy. Like, ever. Only because my taste in fragrance is quite expensive and I cannot bring myself to commit to the high price point of niche fragrances. I just can't. I think blind buying when you are looking for designer fragrances is totally a-okay, but for niche, I just, I, I can't. I like to ruminate on my choices and spend time with samples. I mean, I'll buy samples. I'll buy like maybe three samples just to make sure that I'm 
100% sure that I want to go or not go with this fragrance. Just because for me, fragrance is luxury. That's where I like to spend my money. I like to spoil myself and really splurge on fragrances. So that's why I like to test fragrances for a very long time beforehand. The next question is Crystal Baller. What future purchase or delivery are you most anticipating or excited about? Okay, well, not just one purchase, but many purchases. I really want to get my hands on many, many, many Initio Parfum. I discovered it uh, back in December 2019 and I remember smelling the fragrances. I was like, wow, I almost like every single perfume within the collection. So there's a lot that I really like. I love Atomic Rose, Oud for Greatness, of course, Mystic Experience, Psychedelic Love. I mean, the list can go on. So these are a few that I really want to get my hands on, uh, hopefully this year or in the near future. Next up, we have I Take It Rare, perfume you have that very few others would have. So I can guarantee you that 99% of you haven't heard of this, or maybe a little bit more because I have talked about it before my channel. It's a fragrance called Plus 22 Plus by Chrome Hearts. This fragrance is, you can get it in London in Selfridges. I'll put links down below to see where you can get it. The way that I've described it in the past, it's a very LA, cool, hipster type of scent. It has notes of leather, there's also a bit of raspberry, it's a little bit smoky, a little bit sweet. It's a very abstract fragrance and one that is completely unique sex so both men and women can wear it. I have two more themes or questions to go through so the second to last one is I am stuck on band-aid. If you could create a perfume for your favorite band, actor or singer, what would it be called and what would be the dominant notes? So I love deep minimal house music that is basically only played in like super underground places. I love that type of music. That is my vibe. I'm very much into DJs like like HVOB, Kyle Watson, Zoo, those type of sounds. In fact, I can play you really quickly a snippet of the type of music that I listen to. Yeah, that is a type of music that I'm into, or I even have another one. So anyway, so this is the type of music that I'm into. In terms of creating a fragrance for this type of genre of music, I would go something on the similar lines to Dom Rosa au Sanguine by Liquid Imaginaire. It's like a very futuristic type of vibe, perhaps a little bit rosy, incense a bit of like a sparkling effect. That is like the vibe that I'm going for, something definitely really unisex. And when you smell the fragrance, you don't really know what you're smelling. I would probably add as well a little bit of sandalwood, maybe some violet leaf in there. And in terms of names, I would maybe call it like Surrender Your Soul or Into the Smoke, something along those lines. And the final category is Brain Farts Stink 2, Your Most Expensive Purchase Regret. Now, like I said, I test my fragrances a lot before committing to the full purchase. So all the fragrances that I have in my collection, I do not regret purchasing. I just don't. So that was it for this tag, which was very fun to do. So thank you, Clément for tagging me. I will be tagging now two French ladies. First, Manette de Coeur and Iris Factis. Ladies, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And for everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!